power system operation and control today we are going to see about the plant level and system level control plant level control consists of a speed governor or uh, we call that as a primary automatic load frequency control alfc and second one excitation control or automatic voltage regulator control and in system level control we have secondary automatic load frequency control economic dispatch control unit commitment transmission system voltage control and system security control in addition to that we'll be having uh, the voltage and reactive power compensation hvdc transmission control fax control in the transmission network so this is a complete uh, diagram of a plant level and system level control along with the transmission system control so first we see about the plant level control in this plant level control we are having a speed governor control that is otherwise called primary alfc control automatic load frequency control the speed governor control deals with the speed regulation the turbine speed is sensed by the sensor and this speed is compared with the reference speed and the differential speed is sensed by the speed governor and the main operation of the speed governor is to control the speed corresponding to the differential speed by closing and opening the control valve if the differential speed is low then the control valve is open so that the steam can flow at higher speed thereby increasing the speed of the turbine and if the differential speed is high then the control valve starts closing so that the speed of the steam flow can be reduced thereby speed of the turbine also get reduced so the speed governor control controls the system variables such as temperature steam flow and the boiler pressure second one we are going for the excitation system or excitation control here so in the excitation control or automatic voltage regulator control bus bar voltage is continuously sensed rectified smoothed and that dc voltage is compared with the dc reference voltage in the comparator and the error signal is generated and the error voltage after amplification and the signal shaping sent as a input to the exciter so the main function of the exciter is to give excitation to the field circuit of the generator based on the polarity of error voltage so the generator terminal voltage reaches the value of the reference voltage this is all about the plant level control so this two the concepts already we discussed in the pf and qv loops now it comes under the plant level control and we are having one more loop here that is uh, secondary alfc control so that comes under system level control so now we are going to see about the system level control the system level control under that the first one is load frequency control actually it is a secondary automatic load frequency control in the secondary lfc control the frequency sensor senses the frequency of the bus bar and this frequency is compared with the tie line power frequency in the signal mixer and the output of the signal mixer is the error signal and which is called area control error and that area control error is uh, sent to the speed changer through the integrator and the speed changer gives the reference speed to the speed governor so this we have seen in the pf and qv loops and next one the economic dispatch control the power system has several power plants such as thermal hydro nuclear wind solar etc each power plant has several generating units uh, since the load demand on the power system varies from time to time at any point of time the total demand in the system is met by the generating units in different power plants so we need to operate the power system to supply the load demand in economic manner so the main purpose of the economic dispatch control is to minimize the overall fuel cost of the system to supply the load demand this can be achieved by proper economic load scheduling of different generators in different power plants so the economic dispatch control applies to economic scheduling of plants output for a given system load with and without considering the transmission losses and next one is a unit commitment so the economic dispatch gives the optimum schedule corresponding to the one particular load on the system but unit commitment problem are used to find the shutdown and the commissioning rule so that the total cost of the generation for a given period of time is minimum so the load demand on the power system varies time to time the total load on the power system varies throughout the day 
and reaches different peak value from one day to another. So, to meet the varying load demand, different combination of generators are to be operated. So, the power system operating engineers need to know the sequence of generating units to be operated by considering the minimum cost of generation during the increase and decrease in the load demand. The next one is the system security control. So, the main objective of the system security control is to monitor the overall power system continuously and make a decision and take necessary control actions. There are two levels of system controls, one is monitoring and decision and next one is a control actions. In the monitoring and decision, the power system is continuously monitored using the protective relays, circuit breakers for faults and uh, contingencies caused for repair and failures of equipments and this monitoring devices will indicate the severity of the problem. So, the digital computers are used to detect abnormalities and then alarm the human operator with the help of buzzer, lights or CRT displays. If there is no indication in the monitoring devices, then the system is working in normal condition. In case of abnormalities, the engineer should take a proper decision in a short duration to make the system normal. If the engineer fails to take a decision, then there will be no action, so that system, the total system collapses. And next one is the control action. The system control actions are carried out by the system control centers. So, these control centers should have a information including control area frequency, output of generating unit, tie line power flow to the interconnected areas. So, there will be separate uh, control centers for each area. So, there are four levels of control actions. Uh, in the first level, the control actions are carried out in the generating station and substation with the help of local control center using remote terminal unit RTU. And in the second level of control, the control of subtransmission network is carried out by area control center. In the third level of control, the control of transmission system is carried out by the state low dispatch center using SCADA. Finally, in the fourth level of control, the control of interconnected power system are carried out by the regional control centers. The interconnected system can tolerate the large load change with small frequency deviation with the help of spinning reserves. The spinning reserves can be shared among the interconnected areas during the anticipated load demands. And this is all about the system uh, security control. And now we are going to talk about the transmission system voltage control and in the transmission line the change in voltage occurs due to the effect of transmission line parameters such as resistance, line inductance and line capacitance. The transmission system voltage control is a process of control the system voltage within the permissible limits for example uh, say plus or minus 0 0.05 per unit or plus or minus 5 percentage. So, the device used to control the transmission system voltages are capacitors, the capacitor bank, reactors, static wire compensator, tap changing transformer, synchronous condenser or some, some fact devices we are using to control the system voltage. So, the process of control is carried out automatically without affecting the system performance. So, thereby the transmission system voltage can be controlled. So, the reactive power can be compensated and the fax control is utilized here to control the voltage. So, this is all about the plant level control, system level control and transmission voltage control.